Hi, this is Santa Cruz Core Fitness and Rehab, and today you're gonna to be learning about land exercises to improve performance in the water. Key, our master trainer at Santa Cruz Core Fitness and Rehab, is showing you a dynamic warm-up that includes movements of arm circles backwards and forwards. Level two progression for the dynamic warm-up would be balancing your torso on the ball and rotating the shoulder joint clockwise and counterclockwise with one arm and then reversing it and doing the other arm. Key's feet are together for additional challenge. If they're shoulder width apart, it provides more stability. So to challenge yourself, you can keep your feet together. Hamstrings are activated, glutes are tight, core is drawn in, and head and shoulders are on the ball with slow movements counterclockwise and clockwise on the shoulder joint. He rocks it in the water. One of the things that he does to improve his back muscles is a bent over one armed row. So starting position, he has his knee and arm on the bench, and then same arm and same leg on the right side are on the ground, and his right arm hangs, and then he pulls up, activating his middle traps and upper traps, rhomboids, keeping the elbow in at his side, nice and slow up and nice and slow down with the movement of the scapula. To increase a challenge, we can add a ball instead of a bench. The ball provides additional challenge with stability for the right hip and right shoulder that are on the ball, and then it's nice and slow, Guy moves his arm, keeping his elbow in, having a nice glide of the scapula across the rib cage, activating rhomboids, upper traps, and a little bit of bicep. Your core is engaged to create a flat back, so there's no injury to the low back. You can start with three sets of 10 and move up to 15 if you'd like. The lower reps and higher weight would be for strength and endurance would be lower weight and higher reps. Creating additional work for the low back, removing the ball or bench, you can do two arms at once, activating your core, glutes, hamstrings, as well as your middle back. Creates a great upper and lower body workout. Improving strength and endurance for the water. Balance training improves performance in the water as well. Using the trusty BOSU, we can do push-ups a little bit more advanced. Nice and slow down, nice and slow up. The body is a complete board as we lower using our pecs, biceps, and triceps. If it's too challenging, you can always start with push-ups on the floor. By using the round side of the BOSU to do squats, we can pay attention to how the feet are level. So having equal pressure in the ball of the foot and heel creates an additional challenge as we squat. Nice and slow, knees come forward, hips go back, torso stays lifted. You can also see if you're shifting your weight from the right to the left, so it's a great diagnostic tool as well. So by using the BOSU, we're able to create stability in the ankles by thinking about equal pressure on the toes and the heels. Working up the body it allows for a proper alignment of the knees and hips and creates additional challenge to all the stabilization muscles. Keeping the core engaged and the chest lifted, you get the perfect squat on the BOSU. For an additional challenge, we can flip the BOSU over and do squats on the hard side of the BOSU as well. improve your performance in the water with balance and strength training, and also vary your workout on land. Our recommendation is to continue a strength training program one to three times a week as guided by a personal trainer. As your body changes, so do the exercises. So it's important to switch up your routine so that your body is constantly challenged and able to increase its performance. Today you learned about exercises to improve your performance in the water and also ways to vary your workout routine. Please feel free to leave a comment below. What are you doing to improve your performance? How are you improving your strength and balance on a daily basis? What are the things that you're doing to allow you to have more fun outside? Remember, it's often the start that stops us. So let's get started today. Give us a call or leave a message below if you have any questions and feel free to follow us at Santa Cruz Corps.